What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning. Hope you're having a great, uh, great Sunday this week. Um, in this video, we'll, we'll talk about Ethereum. We'll do a quick overview on the technicals before uh, before the next week starts and what you can also expect uh, heading into next week. Um, and, uh, and and obviously, we'll also talk a little bit about the fundamentals. But to be honest, if, if you looked at the analysis yesterday, not a lot has changed. Um, yesterday we actually got a little bit, little bit more volatility, a little bit more volume than I expected for for, for Saturday, um, but still it, it wasn't wasn't a lot, all right. And, and the volume right now is, is still very low. It's at two percent of the market cap, which is um, absolutely unprecedented. Actually, I mean, if you take a look at that over the last three months, we 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 have never had these volumes like like for in in, in a very long time. Even in the last year, we're really getting towards the, the lower end right now confirming that this is really a bear market. So uh, congratulations, you made it to the bear market. This is the time to get rich, right? Um, but yeah, so I'm also not, not uh, updating Bitcoin either today. Uh, it's just going to be like Bitcoin and Ethereum are going, are going to move together. Uh, now, I do expect the volume to pick up later today. Um, volume usually picks up in uh, in, in like the, the latter day of the um, of, of the Sunday, the, 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 the latter part, excuse me. Um, and, and Monday morning, so volume is definitely going to go up from here, I, uh, I suppose, even though it might stay relatively low, but it is going to go up from here. Um, and basically what you can see, just, just pure, purely technically, we're, we're still in the same situation, right? So we're holding this uh, 1250, 1270 level as our support, um, which is a very strong support level. Um, we're not really reacting anymore to the 200 EMA, which suggests that... Uh, we're not, not not really trending anymore, which is further confirmed by, by the low volume. Uh, without volume, you, can, you cannot really trend. And altogether, you can just see that there's still this bearish momentum um, weighing us down, uh, which is okay, all right? This is not the end of the world, because on the other hand, we also have a very strong bullish momentum uh, coming from this bottom here at uh, 1075. So it's a clash of those uh, of those two. Uh, so what I expect is that either somewhere um, at the end of uh, at the end of today or tomorrow morning, I said that yesterday as well. Um, I expect some bigger moves. We're probably going to get some sort of a breakout when also the volume picks up. It just adds uh, adds on to each other very well. Volume will pick pick up, and because of the nature of next week, I expect us to maybe find resistance at our resistance level between twelve ninety and thirteen hundred for, uh, for for one more touch or something. Uh, but then afterwards, I expect us to break above that um, in, in that same time frame. So either uh, end of today or tomorrow morning. And that will start to go up towards 1340 and 1350. Now, the main reason why I am expecting us to get some sort of a bullish breakout and not, for example, that we will break our, um, uh, our, our bullish momentum and that we have a bearish breakout down to um, 1200. The main reason for that is that next week we have, a, have, have an important fundamental week. All right, if you take a look at it right now, what you can see is that Tuesday, we got the inflation rate, and then Wednesday, we got the interest rate, which is going to make the market move a lot. Now, we have already exper ex experienced more bullish momentum because of this, because it's, it's, it is changing. The interest rate is going up by a little bit less, and the inflation rate is also uh, dropping now, at least year on year, month on month, they're still expected to, to, to grow. Um, so that's bullish. And because of that bullish momentum around those events, I also expect regardless of the outcome of the events, I mean, that's going to make the market move, but we don't know which uh, which way yet. Regardless of that, I, I still expect that momentum that comes with it to be bullish. And therefore that we can, uh, with the uh, with the arrival of more volume and volatility, that we can break above 1290 and 1300 and start our journey up towards 13, uh, 1350. I don't think we'll get there easily, uh, but I do think we'll... Um, I do, do think we'll, we'll be in that rise when we uh, get to the get to the big fundamental events, which are obviously going to make the market move uh, just depending on the outcome of the event only. So then technicals don't really matter anymore. So, but that's my take this, uh, this Sunday on Ethereum. If you do have any questions, as always, let me know down in the comments. But for now, take care and bye.